Hey everyone, welcome back to another devlog of a Minecraft server hosting system. So this is going to be a short devlog. We haven't really added too much, but let me just kind of show you some of the features that we added. So one of the scenarios is if you are a completely new user and you want to go and register an account and buy a server. One of the scenarios is um, we can go here and enter in some payment details such as your email. So I can say like um, dan at example.com. But what I did on this site or on this page is I added validation to all the inputs, right? So we can basically now type in to these inputs, the validation will go away. If I were to delete password, um, the validation should have came back. So I think that's a little bug, but that's kind of like what I've been trying to work on. Um, so let's just type in some fields here and we can go over here and just type in some values. I want to come back and actually make this like verify that you're entered, entered in a right card number. I went ahead and removed all the stripe components because I think I was making the code uh, a lot more dirty. So instead I'm just going to take the data from this UI, send it to my back end, and then my back end is going to forward that to stripe to basically register and check your card number and stuff like that. Now there's like a security concern about sending the actual credit card number to my back and I want to make sure I don't ever log it out to my logs. I want to make sure I never store it to my database. So I just need to keep that in mind. But I think it'll keep my like the flow a little bit cleaner versus having like a separate component that talks to Stripe and all this other stuff. There's also a little bug with the security code. And when I type into here, this validation doesn't go away. But that's basically what I've been kind of working on. Um, just trying to add some validation to these forms to make them more user friendly. Let me see if I can log in and show you this, the other thing that a contributor kind of helped out with. So like even this form, it like it doesn't tell you if you typed in the wrong login information. So we need to kind of go back and improve all these various forms to make sure that we're doing the right stuff. Um, yeah, so I couldn't log in with that user. So let me just go ahead and type in some bogus data, click login and see what happens. Some other things I want to add in is like, I want to add feedback. So like, for example, I just clicked this button, but nothing happened on the page. It didn't give me a success alert. It didn't give me an error alert. It didn't do anything. And I don't know if it crashed or not. Um, it looks like it is crashing. So if I go back here, we can see that it's saying that Bob already exists, I believe. Yeah, so I need to do like Bob one. So there's still a ton of like little tweaks of work I need to do to this UI to make it better. Um, so now we're logging as Bob one and another piece of functionality that a developer kind of contributed to is the configure page. So I think there's still a bug when you create a new when you register a new server, it doesn't tell the agent to actually like spin up the server. So I have to go and restart the agent. Um, but now that's running. But now that's running and I should be able to go back and view the configuration of that agent if this is all working fine. It looks like it's still not working. Not reconfigure configuration file for the server. Um, so the server is still spinning up. This is one issue I'm running into with working on this project. It's using a lot of my computer processing power, right? Having a client running, an API running, um, an agent running that's also running Docker, ser or Minecraft servers in Docker containers. And then when I try to do a screen recording, like that's completely killing all productivity of being able to do something. So I need to figure out a better way to like be able to record these devlog videos for you all and also be able to like easily contribute to this project because it's just turning into a big, uh, a headache of just waiting on stuff like even this editor editor is laggy like when i try to scroll it like takes a couple half a second to like actually move so that's kind of what i've been fighting with i need to figure out a better solution whether it's either buy a new laptop which i don't have money for or figure out a way to just basically use vim and just ssh into my like downstairs desktop computer that might be kind of fun yeah i mean so it's just taking a long time to start that server so i'm not gonna be able to edit it so maybe I could just kind of like hack this and show you. If I just grab an existing server and go to the configuration here, I wonder if this will work. So here is another change that a contributor kind of worked on. Basically, if you remember before, all of these configure fields were just input boxes. So it's kind of not really user friendly to like know what you need to type in. Um, but then he went through and he kind of figured out, okay, well, some of these are Boolean, so we can use check boxes and the rest are just input boxes. And then he also added validation. So if you were to type in like a bad difficulty here and click save, an alert will pop up and say like, you need to type in one of the following. So it's a step in the right direction. I would like it better if there's actually like field level validation showing up. And then also if the field turned red and maybe redirect you back to the top, 
display the error there. I don't really like the alert popping up, but again, this is just a great step in the right direction. Also, some of these things, I wish they were drop downs. like difficulty could be a select box with four options instead of a user having to like type in, you know, like having to memorize what the difficulties are. I could just type in or click on it and select what I wanted. But yeah, I think this is really good. And I don't know if the back end does the same validation over the data coming over the wire. I need to double check that. But those are the two main features that we've been adding on more, just like adding validation to the front end fields and make it so that the user is not going to be completely lost when they do stuff wrong. Um, yeah, so the next step is probably just keep on cleaning this code up, keep on adding in some validation, field level validation, and stuff like that. So stay tuned for the next vlog video. Sorry there wasn't that many features for this one but hopefully you guys are entertained by watching some of the stuff that we added in. All right, so remember to like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Also, be sure to leave a comment below if you have a feature or something that you want me to do in one of these dev log videos. And like always, be sure to click that subscribe button if you're new to this channel because I'm gonna have other videos like this that'll kind of show you my process and what we're building behind the scenes for this Minecraft server hosting system. All right, have a good day and happy coding.